And Marcello. And today we're going to be doing like a really, really quick live. We wanted to share the new Funko Soda Bazooka Joe. We're hoping to get that chase. So we're each going to open up one. And then this week we went to a couple of toy fairs. We had a really, really interesting week. Um... Uh, for toys, uh, for new toy news. So we have the brand new Jurassic World captives. This is the Clash edition. These feature all of the Jurassic World titans of Jurassic World. So we have all these new dinos um, hidden in their new slime. This is a totally new um, type of slime that Toy Monster actually created. So it's a little less gooey, I'm I'm guessing. This is what they told me over at that toy fair. So thank you so much to Toy Monster International for gifting these to us at the actual um, event that we went to, which was TTPM. So we'll get that unboxed, and then we're going to show you... I'm going to open up this one. Okay, we're going to open up the Funko... Or you could hold that then, so I'll just talk about this. Um, we're going to open up the Funko Soda right now. There are 7,500 pieces that you can collect. There's also the chance to get a chase, and he's actually blowing um, bubbles. Yeah. So, a bubble gum. I'm going to so, open them up. All right, Martell's going to open up his. I'm going to open up mine, so he's not gonna, he's not going to do it on camera, I guess. So let's just unbox this now. Hopefully, we will get a chase. Okay, and if you are new to our channel, please don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and please subscribe to our YouTube channel well, and well, other social media channels as well. One more thing with sodas. When you open it up, don't look at the bottom because then it'll tell you if it's a chase or not. Yes, yes, definitely don't look at the bottom. Wow, I'm having trouble opening up this one. And it's not coming out. Oh, my gosh. Wrong. I'm not going to look. Don't worry. So here is the actual box. I'll let Marcello open up his first. No. All right, he does not have a chase. So we'll take a look at Marcello's. Here, let's get Marcello's out. He does not have a chase. Oh, that's a real bummer. So here is Bazooka Joe. And I don't know if you guys know who Bazooka Joe is, but this is like the five cent gum that I remember getting as a kid. It was a little like rectangular gum. And he used to come with his own um, comic strip. It was a lot of fun. Really, really cool. I'm going to switch out these because this, because... This one looks, like, bad. What's the difference? I mean, you're going to take it anyway. And we'll show you the actual pog oh, that it comes I've, with. I've, I've oh, Marcello the has the pog. Head. Okay, here's the pog. And if you got the chase, it would say, congratulations, you got the chase. But we didn't get it. So the chase, there's about, like, 1250 of those chase out there. So hopefully we get one. I got these at Funko.com. Um, oh, no, I got these at Deep Discount. Yeah, Deep Discount. I don't think we got the chase. I don't think it either. No, it's not the chase. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. What are we going to do? What can you do? So we have another one, a duplicate of uh, Bazooka Joe. Oh, well. And here is the pug. And again, it says Bazooka Joe. What a bummer. We don't have a chase. We got two duplicates. Oh, well. I'm so sorry. Do you want to stick around for Jurassic World Captives? Um, Yeah, I'm going to open up one. I'm gonna open up <laughs> okay. One. So Martel's going to, I guess, open up one off camera. You should really do it on the table because there is slime, uh, slime in it. So I'm going to just give him some room so he can do it. Yes. I'm moving over, so don't take up my space. Move over more. You get... <laughs> Get out of my space. So here's the new Jurassic World captives that I told you guys about. If you looked at my shorts, let's get them open. Now they have, they are such high quality. What's really, really cool about these two is that if you have more than one um, captive, you can actually battle them. They come with their own tokens and they have information on how to play and everybody just needs a coin. That would basically um, tell you how you're going to make your next move. But you can collect i think there's over 30 of them to collect and this time around instead of going the dark ones there's actually metallic ones to collect yeah and gold gold silver and yeah. i think like a bronze one so they're really really cool and again we have that same nice textured egg really really nice egg over here let's check out that slime hopefully they actually have the slime in like a pouch or something yeah but oh they do not okay so it definitely looks like Almost the same kind of slime, but this time, instead of that beautiful amber golden color, we have this red color. And you know what? It does feel sort of different. Uh, definitely not as sticky. Good. Yeah, so not as sticky, which is good. Um, yeah, definitely not as sticky. But, you know, once you work that slime from the captives from uh, Camp Cretaceous, it doesn't, it's not too bad. Yeah. So I actually like the slime a lot. And here we go. So we have a nice red color. You can put that in there. And let's see who we got from the actual thing. Let me get my scissor out because here we go. Oh, yeah. I'm karate chopping his. <gasps> we got, oh my gosh. We got, a, we got a silver one. Oh this God. is the metallic fin finish one. Okay, let's check out this checklist. That's awesome. No, you don't. 
like unique pop and lock design they're not articulated like at um like their mouth or anything but they have these other moving parts and i'm so glad we have the silver one so this is one of the rare ones it's an ultra rare and he actually has a killer rating that's really super high so if you have this in your battle you're definitely going to be winning super awesome the, the other ones you can get are blue in gold then they have the indoraptor in bronze here are the other ones that you can collect. I need the and scissors. It looks like, here, where are they? Let me help you out. I'll cut it for you. And then I'll. Okay, so it looks like for the other ones, we've got Triceratops, Dilophosaurus, ooh, even the Ankylosaurus, which is like bumpy um, from Camp Cretaceous. And it tells you, oh, more pop and lock dinosaurs are coming soon. So definitely check out my shorts. You'll be able to see the other um camp critique i'm sorry the other jurassic world captives that you can collect there's larger mega egg with a lenticular eye that like follows you it's really really awesome there's a lot to get there's also a three pack with the opportunity to always get one of the ultra rare so we actually pulled our first ultra rare which is the t-rex silver really really cool gonna, marcello got a good one i've got a question how do you and rocco always get the rare ones on these jurassic world ones and i don't get any of the rare ones because on um, Camp Cretaceous, I didn't, oh, I didn't get a single rare one. You and Rocco got them, and then now you're getting another rare one. I, ha I don't know. I don't know. I guess I, <laughs> How would bad, I, know? I guess I just have bad luck with these. I, no, I don't think you have bad luck. I think these, I mean, it's just whatever. It's the luck of the draw. I mean, I, would, I, I don't know. I have no clue. <laughs> Maybe we're just lucky dinosaur hunters. Maybe that's it. Let's see who we got. Oh, we got a Spinosaurus. So we were fighting. Um, where is the actual card? Where's the battle card? You don't get Mine? one this time? Mine? What is going on with you? What's happening? What's your problem? What's going on with me, Marcello? <laughs> Hold on a second. So you don't get a battle card this time. Oh, you have one. Here it is. Yes. So this is that battle token that I was telling you about. This is the Spinosaurus' battle token. And it tells you a little bit more stats than we got last time. So it tells you the height. He was 18 feet um, or 5.4 meters. And the weight was 16,000 500 pounds or 7,484, whatever, 7,484 kilograms. Speed was 25 miles per hour or 40.2 40 kilometers. And his killer rating is quite high. And his intelligence is yeah, medium intelligence. I have to find the T-Rex's one. Here's the T-Rex. Here we go. So here's that silver T-Rex. And here is his information. Height was 17 Feet. Oh my goodness. And it also has like these little uh, icons over here that we're going to take a look at. Maybe it says it on the actual checklist. His weight was 18, a little over 18,000 pounds or 18 and a half thousand pounds, 83, 8,400 kilograms, speed 25 miles per hour or 40 kilometers per hour. Intelligence, um, pretty much the same as a Spinosaurus and killer rating is quite high. So again, this is, if you were playing the battle mode, you would need two or more players. You get your battle tokens ready. And then each player um, is going to choose the species that they want to play with. And then one player is going to decide which stat to play. So are you going to base this battle off of killer rating or intelligence? And I would imagine that you would, wouldn't tell the other player what you're going to do. So um, after, or killer, oh, it's actually more. Killer rating, intelligence, height, weight, or speed. So there's actually more to do than we would do in Camp Cretaceous. Then there would be player two, um, must play with the same stat. Whoever has the strongest, heaviest, or highest score wins and takes their opponent's battle rank points found in the collector's guide. Or if you want to do doubles, if you tie with your opponent, if you have doubles and you tie with your opponent, um, you would have to... Um, have two or more species of the same, two or more of the same species. You could double your stats and win over your opponent. So um, if you want to actually get more, you can also go to captives.com. I'm not sure where these are actually going to be sold. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'll put all that information once I get that updated in my description. You could also check. I have way more to open. We won like a little bit, like of a like a like a giveaway over at that that booth. So they gave us a ton to open. So I'm going to open up more. And I'll, once I get that info for you, I'll have that updated. These should be out really, really, really soon. The check out my shorts check it out you will see the whole collection and you'll also be able to see um all of the other products that you're going to be able to get there's a three pack again the guarantee of getting that rare and there's also going to be a large mega egg and it has more of these figures inside and obviously everybody loves 
the Camp Cretaceans ones, the, where did you find the Saurus, Marcello? Um, if you just take a look at this detail, it's really highly detailed. This isn't blood. Yeah, it looks like blood. Yeah, for sure. And then if you look inside the Spinosaurus's uh, mouth, you see his like tongue, like sticking out. It's pretty awesome. And then we have this awesome detail. Obviously, it's not um, what the T-Rex looked like, but this is also a nice addition to your collection. It's not, it doesn't, I guess it doesn't really have that much detail or because it's just silver. Well, uh, yeah, you're right. You can't really see what you normally would see like in this one, but it, it's nice to have like that display, um, like to have like that display mode with the, with the finish, which is, is really like, cool. Rare. Yeah, yeah, what is a rare one, right? I mean, the same with the um, glow in the dark ones. You couldn't see the detail either. They just glow in the dark. So really? Just, yeah. So I mean, you can still see. Like if you felt it, it's there. They have really nice detail. Um, again, I wish for the future series that they have open and closed mouth. I would like that feature. That would be really, really awesome. So this is it for our video. But let's just like dip them in the slime. Let's see how well they do in the slime. And in future videos, when I open the other ones, I'm gonna compare the slime because I have the slime from the other. Camp Cretaceous. So far, so good. I mean, the other one was kind of sticky, and I think that's what the major complaint was, that the slime was too sticky. Does not have that consistency. It's a very, very nice consistency. Consistency. It comes right off, as you can see, which is really, really cool. Oh, no, I'm getting the garbage in there. But um, I like this. I really, really like it. Oh, no. What? We're getting slime on the soda can. It's okay. It comes right off. Look at this. It comes right off. Look. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm gonna bring these like I would be I would be nervous if it was like cloth. <laughs> it's not. So it's really, really cool. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. And again, stay tuned to my channel and my other social media channels. If you could follow me there too, I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, I'm on Instagram at play.live.repeat. I'm also on Instagram at playlivrepeat. I'm trying to switch over. I have like 20 followers on the other one. I'm trying to switch over because my other Instagram is pretty dead. Um, I don't know why. It's just, I'm not gaining any followers anymore. I'm just losing by the day. I have a lot of ghost uh, followers. So if you can just follow me there, give me a like, tell me you're from YouTube. That would be awesome. Kind of revitalize my Instagram. That'd be really, really nice. And I'm also on TikTok, Pinterest, Amazon, wherever. All right. Marcel, what do you think of the slime? It's pretty good. Like, like when it's, I, I don't like sticky slime. If it's sticky, then I don't really want to use it. But if it's not sticky, I'll use it. It's not sticky at all. I just combined yours, so just pull it. See, it's not sticky at all. It's... It could be like a slingshot. Okay? Yeah, it could. Can we, wait, can we do a dinosaur slingshot? Okay. You pull, and then I pull the back of it, and then it, it hits. Wait, the how about I pull You pull the. Yes, yeah, so this part, and then it just. Splits. Okay, all right, let me try to get it, like, hold on. All right, you, you, okay, let's see. You pull, you hold the Spinosaurus. Okay. Okay, and I will, here, now go in the middle and pull. And, wow! He's still on. Yay! He's still holding on. He's still holding on. He's still holding on for dear life. Don't blink me. I am of mediocre intelligence, okay? Do not fling me. You're still, like, holding on. <laughs> Guys, if you are, um, Everybody left. If you are, if you are watching my channel and you're here for Disney Dorables too, I have some great stuff to show you guys. So stay tuned for that. I have the new Disney Treasures from the Vault, and I have the new Disney Villains, wherever that oh, is. And we also got a PR box too from Disney Dorables. We're gonna be unboxing that. Oh, and then we also have this. Uh, you guys are going to go to that fair now, so we'll wait. And we also have this to show you guys. So um, that's it for this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Let's get all these Disney adorables. And let me know in the comments what you think of the brand new um, Jurassic. We've also got those Mickeys. Oh, yeah, the Mickey. That's <laughs> We've right. We've got too many more Disney adorables to open. <laughs> let me know what you think of the new Jurassic World captives in the comments below. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. And hope to see you over on my other channels and things like that and we can hang out there too all right guys thanks for watching have a great day Rah.